Today we've got some big news from Google, something that's going to change how you develop your apps. Google has just launched a new web-based IDE called Project IDX, and I'm here to tell you about it, and it's a, it's a game changer. I think it's huge. I've been working with these web-based IDEs for a long time. This is one of the best ones I've ever seen. So it's backed by Google, and this is especially makes it easier for Flutter developers to be able to build cross-platform applications. So if you've ever struggled setting up a dev environment or you want to just code on the fly, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. So let's dive into it today because we've got some coding samples and some great stuff on our video today. All right, so welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason, and here at Startup Hack, we'd love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and to build custom software solutions for companies. I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. All right, so what exactly is Project IDX? Google just launched this incredible web-based IDE that lets you write, run, and debug code directly in your browser. No more downloading heavy software, no more configuring your machine. This IDE is lightweight, fast, and super intuitive. It's perfect for developers who want to get up and get running quickly, and the best part, it integrates seamless, seamlessly with Google's cloud services, so you can build and deploy apps faster than ever before. And that's what's in it for Google, right? A lot of times you look at a free product and think, well, what's in it for them, right? If they're offering this for free. Well, the what's in it for them is they're really promoting you to use Google's cloud services, but it's still a great web IDE. And so you get it for free. So whether you're on a desktop, laptop, or even your tablet, Project IDX keeps you coding from anywhere. So let's talk about Flutter. Flutter is already a powerhouse for building cross-platform applications, but setting up the environment can be you know, a bit of a headache sometime. So that's where Project IDX comes in. It takes away a lot of that hassle. With this new IDE, you can start coding in Flutter without needing to download SDKs or other dependencies. So imagine spinning up a mobile app directly from your browser with everything you need in one place. And I'm gonna demo this for you on this, on this video today. So it's almost like Google's handing us the keys to the development kingdom. Now, why is Project IDX such a big deal? Two words, speed and simplicity. This IDE is designed to cut down on the friction that slows developers down. No more waiting for builds, no more clunky software, just you, your code, your repository, and an environment that's built for speed. For Flutter developers, this is a dream come true. So instead of wasting time setting things up, you can jump right into writing code and seeing immediate results. Now, one of the coolest things about Project IDX is how it embraces collaboration. Are you working with a team? No problem, because it's a web base, so your team can share projects and code bases easily. No need to worry about version mismatches or environment issues. Everyone's coding from the same platform, in the, and it can't even be in the same space. So imagine debugging in real time with your team, regardless of where you're located. Project IDX isn't just about changing the way we code, it changes the way we can code together. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected or you need some Flutter apps built, reach out to us here at Startup Hack. Our specialty is connecting your systems to help your company work like a well-oiled machine. So check out startuphack.com slash Spencer and we'd love to help you out. Now, Google knows that modern app development needs to scale, and Project IDX is built with that in mind. Whether you're developing a small prototype or a full-scale app, Product I Project IDX adapts to your needs. It integrates directly with cloud services, meaning you can scale your app and infrastructure as you grow. Plus, it's cloud-based. You don't need to worry about maintaining your hardware. So here's something I love about Project IDX. It doesn't care about what device or platform you're coding for. Whether you're building for iOS, Android, web, or desktop, Project IDX has built-in support for multiple platforms. This means you don't have to jump through hoops to make your apps run well across devices. Google really thought about this one, and for Flutter developers, this is a massive advantage. Now, Google Cloud integration is also the cherry on top. You can deploy your applications directly to Google's cloud infrastructure, speeding up your entire development to deployment pipeline. Do you need storage? Done. Need scaling compute resources? Done. Want to use Firebase for real-time data? It's all built into the platform. This tight integration with Google Cloud means you can focus on writing code while the infrastructure side of things does the work. So let's talk about debugging and testing. Project IDX offers built-in tools for debugging your code in real-time. You don't need to leave the browser or set up complex testing environments. Everything you need is right there. So we're going to... Um, so another fantastic aspect of Project IDX is how it lowers the learning curve for new developers. And we really love training new software developers here at Startup Pack. Everything is handled right in the cloud. You don't need to worry about local setups or complex configurations, which is a lot of times where junior developers get stuck. New developers can jump in, start coding, and seeing results without any headache. So this is really going to be pretty cool. So without further ado, let's dive in. And I'm going to show you guys some examples here. 
Okay, so one of the nice things about Project IDX is once you get in and get started, and I'll show you how you can get started with it, we're actually going to make a whole tu coding tutorial here uh, on how you can get started with uh, a Flutter app from nothing. But so this is what Project IDX looks like. So you can see it's based on Visual Studio Code, but it's all running in the cloud. So the nice thing is I just clicked on this, it took a second to load, and then voila, and we have, a have all of our code here. Now, what's this code, you ask? So this is actually a project. Uh, one of the companies that I own is called Clean Router, and we build a, a, a router that filters the internet for parents. So we do a lot of embedded router design. Well, as part of that, we wanted to build ex mesh extenders, right, out so you could reach out to the corner of your house. So we did a whole lot of work with that, and I thought, you know, this would be a great open source project. So we open sourced the project, and we called it Free Mesh Wireless. I already had the hardware, so I can provide the hardware for you for really inexpensive, and just you know, sell the hardware if you want it. But we also, right on our homepage, offer a link. This is the true nature of open source software, and use the same technology for how we built our mesh. And you can click here, and then you can see our uh, completely free open source project here uh, for this. So you can see I actually committed my Google IDX file, right? Um, but so this, we're actually working on version 2.0, which is going to be uh, Wi-Fi 6, which is super cool. So look for an announcement coming for that. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. But um, so that's kind of just a little bit of the background nature of what this project is. But so it's really nice to be able to jump in and use Project IDX to be able to code, even if I'm just editing the README. You can see it actually automatically notices this and gives it to me in a, a nice format to be able to edit this like with a WYSIWYG. But then it also, um, you know, I can jump in and actually start working on the actual codes here, right? And I can actually, uh, you know, dig in here and, and dive into the files and go to my packages. And then this is where the magic happens is in these files here, right? And so in these files, I can just edit it, make a change, jump over to my Git tab, push these, push it up to that, right? I can make a branch. Um, so I'm actually working off of a branch right now because this is the new version 2.0 that's coming out. So you can see how simple it is to be able to run through this. Now, this isn't really great example for running debugging, but this is a really great example for just a time that I wanna be able to edit files on the fly, right? And so I can actually do this and um, then pull it down onto the build server and build it. So I can edit here, which is nice, and then use Jenkins or something like that to run this compile.sh on my build server. So uh, super easy, handy, great way to do this, not having to log into any remote sites. I just bookmark this, boom, I've got this project. It's up here in the cloud, super handy. All right, now I wanna show you this other one. So I started a Flutter app. You can see the Flutter IDE here on the right-hand side. Now. I truly just did a new project, and I'm gonna show you how to start this off in another video. So make sure you like and subscribe because I'm gonna go through all of the basics on how to do this. But this is actually the, the boilerplate template code that's running here, but I just wanted to be able to show you in a fairly quick way how you can see a working environment that's running here on the side, and I didn't have to set any of this up. I literally clicked new Flutter project, called it my cool app, I actually shared it from another ID, um, but then now you can even see it in the, you can actually watch this. Oh. <laughs> I got some kind of an error here. Oh, there it goes, it just took a second. So now I can actually see the Flutter environment spinning up here, right? So this is what's so neat because this used to take so much work for developers to be able to do, right? And so um, here we can run this. So let's go ahead and run this and debug it. And now that it's gonna launch the Flutter code here, so you can see it generating the Gradle, um, doing that. In the meantime, while that's running, we can come over here to our web one, which is sitting in a debug and running in real time. And you can actually make changes so that every time we click the button, instead of doing uh, counter, let's do uh, counter plus plus, let's do it twice, right? So we can see this in real time. So we'll see it jump by two now. So you see that hot reloading that popped up right there. So I just, all I did was even save it. Um, let's fire this, re this rerun again. So, yes. Oh, so we got two running now. <laughs> so, um, actually, let's go ahead and stop this and stop both of them. Now, let's run it in debug. Okay. And so, as this guy's running here, um, we're just going to close that. We can break this out. So, you can, you know, break it out even to another tab if you want to and break it out of here. But we can start to see. Uh, once this is running. So this is running right now and it's running in the in the cloud. And so that way we know that, here we go. So I just finished, it built the a APK for us. And then it's gonna install it. So you can see it restarting the environment here, right? 
So it's restarting a, an environment here. There it goes. Now, this is really small with our window open here, but bear with me here. So now when I hit this, see it jump by two. It's really small, but you can see what's going on here. But it was that easy. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't set anything up. I literally went to this and, and this is truly something that you can set up in five minutes. So you see that this is a really great, like I give you two different use cases. If you want to open a GitHub repo where you could do this, and I know you can do it in GitHub in a lot of cases, but this is much more full featured of like a, a Visual Studio um, VS Code in the cloud. And the ability to do these Flutter applications is just huge. So I think this is gonna be a really big uh, shift and a really nice thing for uh, the developers out there who don't wanna spend hours and hours and hours trying to set up a, a project environment. I've been playing with this for the last week and I really enjoy it. Uh, we're just starting a new project on, on a new Flutter project. And as we start on this Flutter project, I absolutely told the developer, man, start in this so that we can collaborate here. So the bottom line is if you're not using Project IDX, you definitely wanna dive in take it for a test spin and see what you think. I'd be really curious to hear about your guys' response. So whether you're a seasoned developer or just getting started, this tool will save you some time and make your life easier. Google has given us a powerful new tool that removes some of the barriers from starting and scaling projects. This is where stuff is exciting right now, guys. I love this stuff. So if you wanna stay competitive in a fast paced world of app development, now's a great time and really easy way to get started. So what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Tell me what downfalls you find for it because I, I, I genuinely wanna learn about it. I'm just learning myself because it's pretty new. Here at Startup Hack, we love training software developers in our licensed coding boot camps. So we love working with junior developers and we love building custom software solutions for folks. And if you need some help, we actually do custom consulting for people who wanna build their own software but then get stuck. We offer some consulting for that that's extremely reasonably priced. So reach out because we'd love to help. Hit the links down below or go to startuphack.com slash Spencer today and hit me up because I'd love to have a great conversation. And we'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we bring you lots of great tutorials and tips that every developer should know. See you next time.